What's going on everyone? Today, after three years of never doing one, we are finally going to do a tier list on Genshin Impact. And no, it's not gonna be one of those tier lists, which is like, oh, this is the best character. This is the strongest character. Why is Zhongli so great? I think it will be interesting to dissect all of the characters into certain different categories and take a look at them. And I wanna make it clear that this is just my opinion. And if you disagree with me, that is totally a-okay. So please don't be upset with me if my opinion does not align with yours. Today's video is sponsored by Razor Gold and Razor Silver Rewards. For those of you who spend regularly on Genshin Impact like myself or other games, you're probably gonna wanna save some money wherever you can and Razor Gold is perfect for that. And let me tell you how. Every time you make a purchase on any game, including Genshin Impact, using Razor Gold, you will earn a currency called Razor Silver in return. Razor Silver is a rewards currency which you can use in the Razor Silver store on many different things you can see on your screen right now. However, if you're like me, you're probably going to be spending Razor Silver on things to do with Genshin Impact, like the Welkin Moon or other Genesis Crystals. To top it off, if you're in the USA or Canada, you can use my code ATSU to get a 5% return on your Razor Gold every single time. So for example, if you buy the $100 pack, you will have another $5 in Razor Gold to spend on anything you'd like in the future, including more Genshin Impact goodies. So for more information regarding Razor Gold and Razor Silver, check out the link in the description down below. And don't forget to use code ATSU if you're in Canada or the USA to get the 5% and limited number of times. Thank you to Razor Gold for sponsoring today's video and have a wonderful day. Bye bye. Here we go. Ether, the main protagonist or one of the two main protagonists that you can pick. You want to know one of the reasons why I didn't want to start playing Genshin Impact in the first place? It's because I thought the main protagonist looked mid. It's just a very average, plain looking main character. If it means anything to you, I picked Aether. I'm sorry. Now to the Lumine shrimps and the Lumine stands. I'm sorry I didn't pick Lumine. I regret it. Every single day, I regret not picking Lumine. Lumine kicks out her elemental burst when she does the Geo attack. Lumine is way cooler and I actually think her design is pretty good. I'm so sorry, but Aether's design is mid. Lumine's is actually good and it looks better. Please don't cancel me. I've said my, I've spoken my truth. Jean. I'm so sorry, Jake. Listen, as someone who is a big fan of the Fate series, it's very obvious what they're trying to do here with Jean. There is a character called Saber, who is the blonde hair, blue eyed knight, which has like blue garments and clothing with like silver and like armor on. Violet Evergarden basically yoinked the design and Jean also kind of yoinked the design. I know people are going to be like, oh, Jean is not Violet. Jean is not Saber. But guys, you have to be huffing incredible copium if you don't think the people working at Hoyoverse have never seen fate. Honestly speaking, I do like Jean, but I do think her design doesn't jump out to me and, you know, say anything incredible. However, if we take the summertime outfit into consideration, I would put her in between good and mid. So she would be a high mid. Lisa, I'm sorry, it's just, she's just a witch. She's just a witch with a purple attire. There's like nothing special about it. It's just, it's just mediocre. It's, you know, I don't think it's bad, but if she was an NPC, guys, I don't think anyone would bat an eye. And her Sumeru outfit as well, not bad, but again, I wouldn't say good. Amber, likewise to Jean, unfortunately, you know, if Amber was also an NPC in Monster, I don't think anyone would be surprised. I know people, I'm gonna get cancelled already. This video has started off so negatively. I'm so sorry. Noel. I'm gonna put Noel. <sighs> Noel is at least a high good, maybe borderline epic. And I'm a little bit biased here because I'm also taking into account when Noel swings her elemental burst claymore because I think that looks so freaking cool. I think her armor looks really cool as well. So I'm going to put Noelle in Epic. Just to clarify as well, the rows are not in any particular order. I think all of the women here are above Aether. I want to make that clear, but we'll do the ordering once we finish the rows. Barbara. Oh my God. I'm actually going to get canceled. I don't want to talk about it. Okay. She's just a maid. She's clearly designed with a certain demographic in mind. I, I'm sorry. I could care less. It could all right, Sucrose. 
Right, let's move on to Fischl. Now, Fischl, I think, color scheme-wise, has really, 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 really cool design. She is clearly meant to be the true Nibio character. I think she fits that role well. Mm, you see, I like the colors purple and black. But then I I put Lisa down there, even though I like purple and black. I guess for, for Lisa's outfit, there's not enough black. It's not edgy enough for me. I'm sorry, guys. I'm an edgelord. I'm sorry. I'm putting Fischl in good. Mona. Mona is also really just a witch. I think Mona's original design, I wasn't really a big fan of. I think it was very, very much designed with a certain demographic <coughs> fob masters. And I'm very glad that they gave us an alternate design. Kuma designs don't really appeal to me. I'm sorry, Mona is in high mid. Now I see someone in the chat say bro hates women. Listen, it can't be helped that literally the first five bajillion characters other than Aether were all women. Let us continue. We got some dudes coming now. Kaya, epic, arguably peak fiction. I think he would look better without the eye patch. It's, it's a bit gimmicky, I feel, but his outfit, his base design, I know a lot of people like Kaya's cosmetic skin, but I think his base design is fire. The white, gold, blue trim, I love that color scheme. You know, you've got the gloves, the shoes with the gold trim, I love it. And he has got the tight pants as well, which I, I like as well. Whereas with his cosmetic skin, Kaya goes for the baggy pants look, and he definitely looks more like royalty here which I also like. I also really like the colors on this, but I really am a big fan of this. I like the overarching like cloak. He's got swagger. You know what? I'm going to put Kaya in Peak Fiction. Deluce. If we're looking at the in-game model versus the splash art, you know like how some people say I look like Anthony Chen. I would look like Anthony Chen if someone tried to draw Anthony Chen with their eyes closed. Diluc's in-game model is tragic. Why does he look like that? I mean, the outfit is okay. Black with the bronze trim. You know, it's it's all right. It's a bit dull. But then you have this version with the high ponytail. I think it makes a big difference. His default in-game model, I would have honestly said it's bad. I think the in-game pay-to-win skin looks a lot better. Therefore, Diluc, I'm going to have to put in mid. But I will probably put him at around high mid. I'm sorry to the Dillard fans. And you know what? I'm sorry. I'm going to pull Fischl down as well. I like Fischl's design. I think it's it's decent. Young Razore. Razor was my very first main. I know a lot of people think Razor is stinky. It's fine to be wrong. It's fine to be a hater. All right. I think Razor's design is epic. Adorable young man that swings a gigantic claymore. Are we seeing a pattern here? Potentially. However, this is just the me thing, but white hair with red eyes just looks cool. I don't care what anyone says, I will die on this hill. That's already extra bonus points. And then when you take a look at Razor's whole outfit, quite a big fan of Razor. I like the hood as well, and I like Razor's hair. And of course, the, the big wolf that kind of acts like his JoJo's Bizarre Adventure stand. That's part of his design, and I also like that as well. I do think Noelle's is still much better, though. So Razor would be on the lower end of Epic. All right, moving on. Bennett. All right, moving on. Ning Guang. <laughs> Ning Okay, listen. Okay, this is like the most NPC main character wannabe looking ass design. It even has the freaking goggles. Walmart Naruto goggles that they got rid of after like the first few episodes because they they look stupid, right? Even has like the bandage on top of the, the crest of the nose and, and the collar up, like, come on, come on. Listen, if he had white hair, red eyes, maybe, maybe into mid. Let's be honest here. He literally looks like someone who would be like an NPC in Pokemon. I'm sorry. I've spoken my truth. I'm moving on from this cancellation. Ning Guang. I think Ning Guang's base design, good. But Ning Guang's cosmetic skin, I think is actually phenomenal. I think she looks really, 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 really beautiful in, in this cosmetic skin. I'm a really, really big fan of this skin. You know, I just realized, I never really noticed this until doing this tier list. Ning Guan has white hair, red eyes. Now it makes sense. And with this skin, she literally has the blue bronze, black trim, which I'm a big fan of, which I really liked on Kaya as well. That's all I need to say. Ning Guan in her normal attire, I would say is like good, high good. Ning Guan in her, her cosmetic skin, I would actually put on like towards high epic. So Ning Guan, top tier. Beidou, peak 
fiction. Now, I know I said I'm not a fan of eye patches, and both of the characters currently in Peak Fiction both have eye patches. All right, I'm saying if they didn't have their eye patches, they would be even higher, guys. But Beidou, how do I describe Beidou? She's such a cool character, but I really, really do like her design as well. Am I just a shrimp for like over the shoulder fur design as well? Kaya has this as well, like over the shoulder, like oh, maybe I just really like over the shoulder garments as well. And also the fingerless gloves. I'm starting to notice patterns here, guys. Also, her hair is also asymmetrical with her ear piercing as well. You've got this long side of her hair to balance it out. I I'm starting to learn stuff about myself, guys. But she's just a badass. Okay, Beto. Peak fiction, peak fiction. All right, my wife's favorite, Kaching. I hope Nekopi is not watching this. <clears throat> mid, mid, mid. Okay, the saving grace for Kaching that saves her from, in my opinion, being a bad design. I love purple, guys, but like, what's going on here? I feel like the colors are all over the place here. I'm sorry. I don't like this this cat girl thing here as well. I know Fobmaster, Anthony Chen, and Neko P all love, you know, like this little cat girl aesthetic, even though she's not a real cat girl. I know they love, I know they love like the shoulders being exposed as well, but I, I just don't care for this outfit. However, I think this skin is actually really, 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 really nice. So this cosmetic skin, I would put probably in low epic. I really, really love the opulent color scheme here with the black, gold, blue, like the gradiented blue, but her default skin, I do not like it. And I'm just realizing the ears are different. See this, the hair here, I actually think looks cute. This, I don't like. Maybe I don't like the pointy ears, but the, the rounded ears, I feel look a lot cuter. I'm learning so much about myself today. We're gonna put her in mid. Shangling! gonna get cancelled non-stop. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. She's so bland. I'm sorry to the oppa gamers. I know people love Shangling, but she's, I don't like the color scheme. I do not like the red, yellow, orange. Listen, as someone who is part Chinese, Shangling is literally if someone just said, can you make a generic looking Chinese character? You know, like in these romance anime where they try and make a character look bland, but they're still attractive. That's what the, sh the Shangling aesthetic is. You know, they try and make her look like a boring, like very average looking character, but at the same time, she's still cute. That's what Shangling is. So Shangling for me is, is a bit mid. I'm, I'm sorry. Chong Yun, Chong Yun. I feel like Chong Yun is a Kingdom Hearts main character that didn't make the cut. It's just not edgy enough for me. I feel like the colors are a bit too dull. I, I'm not a fan of the, the black pattern here, looking like some Minecraft ass block. The gold and the blue just does not stand out enough for me. I think Chong Yun is just a decent design. Not bad, it's not bad at all. It's not a bad design. Yeah, Chong Yun looks like a four star. That's a good way to put it. Chong Yun does look like a four star and like the effort into the design looks like it was meant to be made to look like a four star, but not bad. All right, Chi Chi. So Chi Chi, yeah, Chi Chi Chi's whatever. Like I am indifferent about Chi Chi. I don't think it's a bad design. I don't think it's a great design either. I, th I think it looks very bland as well. Like, it, it's just mid. Now, I know I skipped over Sing Cho. Listen, Sing Cho does not pull off this hair. This outfit, fire. But the hair, it just, Sing Cho does not pull this off. And the base outfit, very four star coded. And there's nothing wrong with that, but it's not for me. I really like this outfit though. I think this outfit is fire. Again, same color scheme. You've got the multiple shades of blue. You've got the black, you've got the gold trim. You've got some white as well. I think it's a really, really nice color scheme. So these kind of outfits, I'm a big fan of. I just can't get over the haircut. Venti, Venti the Bard. I would put Venti in good. I like Venti's design. I don't think it's anything crazy. Obviously it's one of the earlier Genshin designs, but I think Venti's outfit is quite nice. It's a cute design. I like Venti's design. I know a lot of people didn't like Venti when Venti first came out, especially a lot of dudes didn't like Venti's design, um, but I actually like it. I feel like it fits the, ver the Bard role very well. I think the hairstyle works really well as well. And it comes across 
across very, what's the word? Shakespearean. I'm gonna put Venti at high good right now. I like Venti's design. I think it works nicely. Klee. I'm gonna put Klee in good as well. I think Klee is a very, very cute design as well. Red with the white. Dodoko is very cute. I think the school backpack is also very, very cute as well. Someone just pointed it out in the chat. It's probably also, again, white hair, red eyes. It just adds a bonus. Tartalia. When Tartaglia first came out, guys, I was a big fan of Tartaglia's design. With the dual blades as well, it looks so cool. But I feel like that gimmick, it's waned on me and it just doesn't hit the same anymore. However, I really like his black outfit, so I'm going to keep him in good. He, he used to be an epic for me, but what, I guess when I saw him in the Fontaine quest, I was just thinking to myself, he's not as cool as I remembered him to be. I'm so sorry, Tartaglia fans. I used to be a Tartaglia simp as well. I don't think his model has aged well compared to like some of the newer designs that we got. I feel like has more effort that's how i personally feel about it okay moving on we have diona i i just don't really care it's definitely better than amber and aether though chi chi is also above that peak fiction does anything else have to be said we've seen multiple designs for zongli now we've seen his archon outfit peak we've seen his museum outfit peak even his normal attire peak. You know those dudes that only watch like Blue Lock and Dragon Ball Z and Baki and they're like, oh my god, Haikyuu is for is a gay anime. They still look at Zhongli and they will simp too. That's how beautiful this man is. I don't even normally like these colors that much. This brown, black, white design. Like normally I don't even care for these colors. The gold is not like brilliant gold either. It's like a very dull gold. And a lot of the colors are just dull. But he's gorgeous peak fix home all right next up we have Yan. now i know a lot of people don't like Yan's design and people are gonna call me a child for this but hear me out look at the spikes it's so edgy to my fellow edgelords it's black and red look at the black and red aesthetic it's pure rock and roll edge as i said i'm also considering other aesthetics this is a fire design. Hair up or hair down, I think her outfit is actually fire. With that in consideration, she is at least good. And I'm gonna put her probably just above Lumine. I'm gonna put Lumine on the lower end here. I put Child probably towards here. Now, those of you guys who have never seen that image before, it's because you don't quest. And obviously I quest, so I got you guys. Don't worry, I do all the quests. Albedo. This is another in-game model problem. Albedo's character design for me, epic. Splash art, epic. All the fan art I see, epic. In-game model, why would you do this to my boy? They've literally nerfed his hair. But design-wise, guys, outfit-wise, I love, love, love Albedo's outfit. The blue, the white, the gold, the black. I don't know what you call these like ornaments or the spiky stuff on it. It's got the right amount of edge. You see the under, I don't know what this like, if it's a sleeve or not, but I like it. The gloves, I like it. The boots, I like it. It's got the right amount of edge, but it's also classy. If his in-game model looked better, I probably would have put him up at Peak Fiction. Also, his head is absolutely freaking ginormous on this model. Albedo Splash Art though, gorgeous. Ganyu. Ganyu, I would put in good. Not really much to say. I think Ganyu's design is good. I think her skin that just came out is not bad as well. I think it's really nice. I do prefer her base skin over this design. The backside here, very nice though. I really like the glowy colors. I like the hair as well. Not really much to say. I think Ganyu is a solid design. Xiao. Oh god. When Xiao first came out for me, peak fiction. However, likewise to Tartalia, as time has passed, my appreciation for Xiao's design has waned. So I'm going to have to put Xiao down in Epic. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's because I see Xiao too much now because of Nick. Because when I see Xiao now, I think of Zionix. And when I see Zionix, I think Zuma. I think RuneScape Addict. The Zionix I know is not the same as the Zionix you guys know, guys. All right. Nick and I are friends. And I've seen this guy off stream. So Xiao has been debuffed by, by Mr. Zionix. But 
between Shao and Albedo, I also want to say this. Shao's model could have been better as well. I feel like kind of similar to Albedo, not as detailed as it could have been or just doesn't look as... I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. Is it because of the height? Maybe it is because of the height because I don't think Shao is meant to be this short, but he's literally the same height as Aether. So I just feel like maybe the body proportions seem a little bit off. Like Shao's torso or his legs should be slightly taller. And again, yeah, the big head thing. But no, Shao definitely epic for me. Probably number one in epic, I would say. Okay, next up we have Hu Tao. Hu Tao, high epic. I really like Hu Tao's design. I'm trying to not be biased by her personality as well. I really like Hu Tao's personality too. You know, this idol animation, I'm a big fan. I like it a lot. I really, really, really like the hat as well. And I like the hairstyle. I like the eyes. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. I like the rings as well. Edgy, but classy. So I would say Hu Tao for me, epic. Rosaria. Rosaria, I don't think it's bad. I don't think it's great either. But the colors, I just don't think it's for me. She does fulfill the role of the vampire nun. I think she does that role well. But I am not into vampires. I'm not into nuns. It doesn't hit for me. But I think if I was a big vampire slash nun fan, I would put this at very high level. And then there's the other outfit as well, which is this one. I think this one, this design is better than this one. But at the same time, I'm indifferent. I just think it's okay. Yan Fei. I want people to separate personality with design. Yan Fei for me, personality would be very high up. But I, I think her design is just okay. I do not like the hat. I don't really like the hair. It's just a bit mid. I'm sorry, Anfei fans. Eula. It's just whatever. Eula is also just whatever for me. I think the colors for me, I'm just not a fan of. And I know the design is actually very similar to Kaya. But I don't, I don't quite know what it is. Why I like Kaya's so much more than Eula's. I think it's because Kaya's hair, I feel like compliments his outfit with this shade because it's dark blue. Whereas Eula's hair and her eyes are way too bright for the rest of the outfit. Also, I don't like the hairband or the hair, but I don't think it's a bad design. I just think it's okay. Next up, Kazuha. Kazuha, I am going to put in good. Again, whitish hair, red eyes. If Kazuha was taller, Kazuha would be an epic. But Kazaha is not tall. Kazaha, I'm afraid, can only reach into good. It's not edgy enough for me, guys. It's good, though. It's good. I like the color scheme. It's good. Similar color scheme to Hu Tao with the gradiented brown and black. But it's it's not enough. Ayaka! Oh, another one of Nekopi's favorites. <sighs> I'm, I'm sorry, Ayaka, again, I'm just gonna go over this very quickly. I don't care for the design. As someone who is also partially Japanese, I've just seen too many characters that look like Ayaka. Also, her forehead is bigger than my future. I'm sorry. Now, Ayaka's alternate outfit, don't look at me, but I actually think this looks dreadful. Mary Poppins ass looking, I'm sorry. I, I feel like this looks dreadful. If we're considering the Mary Poppins goofy ass outfit. I've spoken my truth. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Listen, crucify my fashion sense. I don't have fashion sense. It's okay. All right. Not, not below. Not below Amber though. Not below Amber. Yoimiya. Yoimiya epic. I really like Yoimiya's design. And I know Yoimiya's one is also kind of generic Japanese design, but I, I really appreciate how they nailed the Matsuri design. You've got the Kingyo, the goldfish, the bows are great, the outfit, the bandages. I love it. I think it's a great design. Also, ponytails are a bonus. Guy or girl, male, female, doesn't matter. Ponytail hairstyle for me is always a bonus. So Yoimiya for me, I would probably put up here. Oh, it's I'm gonna have to rearrange that at some point. But I really like Yoimiya's character design. Sayu. Oh, I completely forgot about Sayu. Amongst the chibis, actually, I really like Sayu's design. I think her outfit is super, super adorable. I'm gonna put Sayu at like high good, just under Venti probably. Sayu's design, very cute. Obviously, when Sayu goes into the Tanuki, I think is is very cute. But no, I think they did a good job on this one as well. Raiden Shogun! High epic. Very close to peak fiction. I think 
her in-game model could have been a little bit better. But colors on point, design on point. I like the gloves. I, I do like the design. However, I also understand a lot of people think she looks bland. See, for me, I really like the outfit. But I have to say, I do think her face and her, her hair, it is a little bit bland. Like the in-game model wise. However, her Archon outfit, that is peak fiction. That's why I would put her at high epic. Kujo Sara. I also really like her design. I'm going to put her in epic. I really like the Tengu mask as well. Similar to Tartalia. I love the wings here. And I really like this gradiented purpley. What's the color here? Burgundy? No, purple? I think that's very cool. Then we have Kokomi. Another fan favorite. Just need to rearrange a few things. Uh, Kokomi? She's just a mermaid. I'm sorry, guys. I just, and she has a ginormous head. And I hate her pants. I hate whatever they've done here. I don't like this at all. The robe is fine. I don't know. I, I don't like it. She's not ugly, but I don't think she's necessarily very beautiful either. I think her colors, like her hair color is too dull. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. I don't understand fashion. You right. You, you right. I don't. Toma! So, Toma! Yeah, Toma's whatever. But I don't dislike Toma. He he does look like an NPC. Man literally has like a Boy Scout's badge. He, he literally does look like a Boy Scout leader. All I'm saying is if I wore this outfit in public, I would get bullied. He can pull it off, but I can't. And therefore, I don't like his outfit. Ito! Arataki Ito! Splash up. Epic, in-game model, cardinal sin, what they've done to him. He's meant to be buff. For some reason, they punished him and they gave him noodle arms. Even I am more shredded than Ito. His design is actually epic. It is epic, but his in-game model, why did they do that to him? That's not cool. But otherwise, he's spiky, white hair, red eyes, edgy. He's got that six pack on show. He would have been epic, but his in-game model, just like Diluc, got Omega nerfed. Goro. Goro's okay as well. I have no strong opinions about Goro. He's just a doggo boy. Shen He. <laughs> also, likewise to Goro, I'm indifferent. I look at Shen He. I don't have any strong emotions. The latest outfit, I have no strong emotions about this. I, I don't know. I also think this base design looks better than this. Is that a hot take? Maybe that's just me though. Yunjin. I most definitely didn't forget her name just now. Yunjin's design, I would put it either high mid or low good. I have actually been to Chinese opera before and Yunjin's design here, pretty good, honestly. I just don't like the color scheme. Yae Miko. Yae Miko, I'm gonna put at high good. Obviously the fox lady design has been done in anime and like other games. Cause this kind of design I do think is actually really nice. I just feel like this has been done so many times though. It's still very good though. So she will still be towards epic. And next up we have Mr. Ayato. All right, I'm ready to be canceled again. I don't care anymore. I'm not gonna pretend I think Ayato's design is fire. I think it's mid. Originally, I thought it was fire, but then as time passed, I started thinking to myself, what was I thinking? I don't like the pants. I don't like the sleeves. I don't like his outfit. Also, I don't like his hair. However, because they chose white, blue, black, purple, and gold, it saved him from going into bad. So I would put him towards high mid. Yay Lan! Yay Lan, I would put in good. Not gonna lie, her splash art looks way better than her in-game model. Again, saved by the color scheme. Also this white fur thing. I don't know what it is. I really like having this white fur thing. Brilliant, vibrant colors, fingerless gloves, asymmetry, nice. But the in-game model's haircut, the splash art looks way better. She is not serving with this haircut in-game, and it also makes her forehead astronomically huge. But either way, I think the in-game model was a bit lacking. 
Cookie Shinobu. I think solid design as well, but likewise to Yae Miko, I, f I just feel like I've seen it too many times. I think they did a good job on the ninja aesthetic, but again, I, I same, same with Yae Miko. It just seems a bit cliche, a lot of this, especially this hairstyle as well. What does this remind me of? Where, where do I feel like I've seen this before? Akali, maybe? Gradient colors, I love it. But yeah, it's, it's a little bit cliche. Hazo! Whoa, 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 relax, relax, relax. Hazo is one of the rare male characters that can pull off being short and making it look good. I like Hazo's hair. I like the attire. I like the weapon here. I forgot what it was called. Is it a bato? I don't know. I forgot what it was called. When I saw this the first time, it did give me like an imperial officer, kind of like detective policeman look. And I think they nailed it for that. And I really like Hazo's color scheme as well. Tignari, a controversial one. He's like Marmite. You either love Tignari's design or you hate his design because he has so much going on in his splash art and even his model. He has so much going on. But I think people know where I stand with Tignari. I love Tignari's design. So I will give Tignari epic. I really like Tignari's color scheme as well. I think Tignari pulls off the shoes nicely, the puffed out pants nicely. The puffed out gloves here on the wrists. I like it. I do think this part could have been done better though. And I think maybe if this was on this side, it would have been better because it would have been more asymmetrical. I like asymmetry. Unless it's the Yelan or Singcho haircut. Kalei! There's not much to say. Just a generic green haired girl. I feel like I've seen it before. Dory! Dory? <laughs> a lot of people say Dory's design is like pure vomit. I can't say I like Dory's design, but I don't dislike it either because i hate it i hate it. okay that's a bit too harsh the saving grace of dory's design are the shades but the rest of the design i do not like the color scheme i do like the puffed out pants not a fan of the rest of the design though so i would put dory towards like lowish mid seno sino sino whatever you call it peak fiction this is also super cliche and people are like, cliche, what are you talking about? Listen, the Anubis boy has been done so many times, but they nailed the Anubis boy. I think the only thing that I would change, maybe a tiny bit taller, just a tiny bit. And I think this design is flames. I love it. The black, the gold, the blue, I love it. The white hair, red eyes is a huge, huge bonus. And of course, when he goes into his lightning form, I love the lightning claws. I like that bandage look around the hands, the Dazai Osamu, right? I love that aesthetic. Design-wise, just about Beidou. I like Beidou more as a character, but design-wise, I really, really, really like Sano's design. Now we have Kandake or Candice or Candies. I would put her at Epic. This is also very, very cliche. If you've watched Yu-Gi-Oh, there is another character that I'm pretty sure she is based off. Obviously the headpiece is pretty much the same thing, but I don't, I don't know what historical relevance the eye has. When I saw her, that's the first character I thought of, but I really do like this design. Again, it's the color scheme helps a lot. Gold, blue, black, white. I think the shield is super cool as well. So she, she's, she's up there, she's up there. And then we have Nilu. Hi mid. No, not much I can say other than it doesn't it doesn't appeal to me. I'm sorry, it doesn't appeal to me. I don't think it's bad, but likewise, I think it's super cliche. Like even with the horns up here, like the priestess look, and I know she's a dancer, I feel like this has been done so many times. And again, the color scheme, it's it's you know, it's not a color scheme that I'm a big fan of. Nahida! Nahida, also high mid, likewise, very cliche. I've seen the little green elf with white attire before. I've seen it before. I'm sorry. It's because I'm such a nerd, guys. It's a bit similar to Klee. Obviously, they're both elves, but it's it's whatever to me. I mean, yeah, even Freerun looks like her. It's like the classic elf with white hair. It's, it's just, I, you know, I've just seen it before. I, 
I'm indifferent. Moving on, Layla. Color scheme helps her a lot, but I am going to put her in low good. Mostly because of the color scheme again. I'm a very, very big fan of dark blue, white, black, gold. Also, I like, I'm becoming like a broken record here. Slightly cliche as well. I feel like I've seen her design as well. Oh, I just realized she's an elf. Oh yeah, the sleepy character, I feel like I've seen, seen her before as well from another game. But not bad, not bad, not bad. The Wanderer. As Scaramouche, with that color scheme, he was epic for me. I, I'm not as big of a fan of the Wanderer color scheme. I don't feel like that's even a hot take. I feel like most Scaramouche fans like Scaramouche's design more than the Wanderer's design. So if it was Scaramouche, I would put Scaramouche probably at like middle of the pack epic. But as Wanderer, I don't like the color scheme anywhere near as much as what it used to be. So probably towards like high-ish good. Because his outfit is obviously the wandering samurai Ronin look from Japanese folklore and Japanese history. But it's an obnoxious outfit, right? This hat is obnoxious. His design is meant to be obnoxious. These colors are like, oh, I'm a bochama. Bochama is like little prince. You know, little spoiled prince. I need the edginess. I need the black. I need, I need the black and the red design back. Ah, but I do like his gloves. I do like his shoes. It's the color scheme, guys. It's the color. Okay, you know what? I'm going to put him in low epic. The color scheme, I really wish we had the option to go back to Scaramouche, but I understand why we won't and we probably never will. And that's okay. Faruzan. Okay, now if we're going to talk about cliche, guys, you can't go any further than Faruzan. Now, if you've never heard of Hatsune Miku, you'll be, you'll be wondering, how on earth can you say Faruzan is cliche? Faruzan is literally meant to be Hatsune Miku. And if you don't know who Hatsune Miku is, you have to have been living under a rock. So for me, it's, it's a bit of a, it's a bit of a mid one. Ah, yes! Peak! Fiction, in-game model, absolute flames as well. Le pic, le fiction. Look at those abs. Look at those arms. He looks just like me for real. The robe, the, the cape, the, the one shoulder showing, the gloves, the boots. Wow. The one eye covered, but not with an eye patch. Peak. He's beautiful to me. Then we have Yao Yao. Yao Yao, I would put in high good as well. Probably joint with Sayu. I think she's very, very cute as well. Not much else to say. I think the bells help. The bells definitely help. And if Yao Yao didn't have the bells on her head, it would look very strange. It, it would just look bizarre to me. Dia, Dia for me. Epic. I love the color scheme. I love her design. It's terrible, you know, it's terrible that she got nerfed into the ground but i love her design the black the gold the red i love it the spikiness yeah the belts are so cool like on her on her legs there her boots are cool i really like how the cloak behind her is gradiented and asymmetrical you've got a super dark black side on the right hand side and then you have the brighter red side on the left hand side as well not enough to be peak fiction, but definitely, definitely up there. Baizu! So we got Baizu next. I know I'm about to be cancelled by like 1% of the population here. Because there's not that many Baizu shim shrimps. I do think he is ugly. I'm sorry I said it. It's okay, you can call me ugly as well. I know I'm not exactly pretty, guys. But he's high ugly. You know, he's high ugly. So I would put him at high bad. He does not pull off the crop top. He does not pull off like the, the thing around his leg there, his foot. He's like ugly beautiful, guys. Does that make sense? Does that even make sense? I don't know how to explain it, but like he's ugly beautiful because like clearly he's beautiful, but he's also ugly at the same time. Anyway, I don't like his design. Kave, peak! He's so beautiful. Kave is just gorgeous. I love the color scheme, white, black red as well with a bit of gold i love the boots i love the pants i love the gloves i love the hair imagine if i look like that i'd be able to take over the world people would literally subscribe to my channel just because i'm beautiful <sighs> what's her name kirara kirara mid just very cliche it's just the she's just the standard cat girl there's not much else to say not bad not great i don't care about cat girls guys i don't know how to tell you this i'm sorry kirara is nothing special i'm sorry She's all right. She's, she's neither good nor bad. I think she's just an average cat girl design. This one is probably going to surprise people. Linny. I actually really, 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 really like Linny's design. So I'm going to put Linny in high epic. 
I really like Linny's design. I think Linny is like one of the few characters that can pull the tights off like this. Originally, when Linny first came out, I was indifferent. But the more I played with Linny, I saw the animations and the in-game model and the top hat, of course, and the cat. Linny's design is actually kind of fire. But the color scheme, the black, the red, and I really like the cat as well. I really like the hat. I, it's, it's just a really clean in-game model. It's really nice. Like, look at the detail on the hair as well. And then you look at someone like Albedo and how dirty his hair's been done as well. Like, it just blobs. Like, what is this shading? Like, what is that? Well, then you look at Linny. Look at the shading on the hair and all the detail there. I feel like his model got done justice. Uh, like, Albedo's design for me is still better than Linny's, though. Even just from the splash art perspective. Then we have Lynette. Lynette, I will put in low good. Not really much to say. I like her design. I don't think it's anything crazy, but not bad at all. Fremene, also low good. I think it's an okay design. Well, not okay. I think it's a good design. Yeah, not much else to say. I think it's nice. Nuverat! Ah! Peak fiction. Again, of course, the color scheme helped. You've got that shade of blue, the glowing blue with the white and the gold. I will say, I think Nuvalet's model, like his face, I don't know, something's a little bit off about his in-game model, but you know how his splash art is, how he is actually meant to look. Peak. Peak. Ah! Another back-to-back, -back, back-to-back peak fictions. Risley. Risley's design. The perfect amount of edge. You know what I'm talking about when I say being classy, but being edgy, guys? Nouvellet is pure classiness. There's like absolutely no edginess here. Other than, okay, maybe there is. The boots are quite edgy. The black in the outfit is quite edgy. But this is like, like the waistcoat, it's classy. But then you have like the fur here and like the chains, edgy. The gloves, edgy. It's a mixture of both. I love his outfit. His face is great. His model is great. Farina, Farina, high epic. Farina's design, really, really, really nice. Very classy. And of course, it's got that nice shade of blue that I really like with a bit of black and gold and a little bit of white as well. And I know a lot of people like this about Farina, like her eyes not being the same. I personally don't like that. That's maybe like the one of the few things that I dislike about her design. If the color was a different color, I think I'd be fine with it. But it's such a stark contrast. Otherwise, I think her design is really, really, really good though. Charlotte. Charlotte's design is... I feel like I've seen her design before. But I think it's I think it's a cute design. Of course I've seen it before. It's pom-pom. It's literally pom-pom and Yan Fei like mixed together. But I, th I think it's a good mix. I think it's fine. I like the, I like the outfit. I like the outfit. I like the colors. Now we have Miss Taylor Swift, Navia. Navia's design, I would put in middle of good. This is another design which I do feel is a bit cliche. This is like in Japanese, we just call it the Ojo-sama look. What's the word? Victorian look. You know, maybe that's why I don't rate it as highly, guys. Please remember that I'm British and I have had Victorian culture and Shakespearean garments and clothing and that kind of aesthetic shoved down my throat. So I have seen this kind of attire way too much for my liking, guys. I'll take, I'll take, shut your ass up, you Taylor Swift shrimps in here. I don't think it's anything crazy, but I, I like it. I think it's, it's nice. Color scheme with the black, it's okay. It's okay. She, her model is really good though. Chevrolet. Chevrolet mid. I, I don't like the design. I don't like the colors either. Yeah, I don't like this outfit. You know what? It's not even mid. I'm going to put this down in bad. I'm so sorry. I know that's probably offended a bunch of people. I think the biggest problem here is the hair color and the fact that her hair is so big. She looks like a nutcracker. I thought that's what she was based off. I do think her hair is too much so. All right. The next one is definitely going to piss people off. Shen Yun. Bad. I said it. Bad. I think her design is ass. It's clearly a reference to Bayonetta as well, but I don't care about Bayonetta's design, and I also don't care about this design. And I know I like ponytails, guys. Normally, her high ponytail character will give me a bonus. I hate the color of her lipstick, all right? Hate is a strong word. You know what it is, guys. I don't like the green. I'm sorry. I just don't like it. It gives us too much too much grandma energy. And I know I'm going to be cancelled for saying that. I've just realized what it is. She reminds 
reminds me of like my aunties and my grandma. That's why I don't like it. The PTSD, that's what it is. <laughs> Maybe that's why Baiju is down there. Look, the shade of green, guys. One, I don't like the shade of green. Two, the glasses. Is this like some locked away trauma I have? Because Baiju is an Asian uncle. I just feel like these two give me the racist Asian uncle and auntie look. Oh my God. And Sucrose is the daughter. Oh, honestly, if you look at them, they would look like a family. Oh my god, you guys are helping me understand so much about myself. Anyway, let's move on. Garming! Peak! When Garming Splash Art first came out, guys, I'm not gonna lie. I thought he looked mid. And he just looked like a generic ass Chinese protagonist from like any old anime. But then, when I saw his in-game model. Oh my god! And the night version as well, guys. Wow. Wow. And then you have like his little companion. So freaking cute. Now, like actual base colors wise, I think these base colors are horrific. I would never wear this color scheme. Who wears black, green, red? And his haircut is really, really, really good as well. I, I love his design. And then last but not least, Chiori. Now I haven't seen her in-game model. And yes, I didn't play the event, so I didn't see her in-game model properly. But from her splash art, I'm going to put her somewhere in Epic. She looks cool. But I need to know what the in-game model looks like. That is what my tier list is going to look like. I might have to, I mean, I can't be bothered to rearrange all of this. But obviously the stuff in here, this is not in rank order anymore. None of this is in rank order, guys. What are we saying? Base take or L take? Leave it in the comments. Let me know, chat. What are we saying? L, 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 pretty based, based, mid, L, L. Okay, okay, okay. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned a thing or two about how I feel about Genshin character designs. And I think I'll do one on personality, guys, because I feel like that would be interesting. Personality is very, very important. I hope you guys enjoyed that. And yeah, have a wonderful, wonderful day. Thank you to the Planet of the Apes for joining us. Uh, the snakes, scammers, bonobos, and baboons. And have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye-bye.